Hey, man, what it is, this is Dean, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. I want to talk about I want to talk about a double standard that is pushed in boxing that I'm glad that Tiafema Lopez versus Steve Gladgett got announced because now I really we I can really talk to y'all about the full landscape and I was waiting to make this video because I wanted to show you just how y'all are hypocrites and hypocrisy at his finest. This is why Dean is here. This is why y'all like me. I let people talk who like that talk because you get to see how full of ish they are. Only Gervonta Davis is held to this certain standard. Only Gervonta Davis has to fight Godzilla every single fight or y'all criticize him. Y'all don't even hold Canelo Alvarez to this standard. The other guy that y'all say is the face of boxing over Gervonta. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's talk about it, people. Yeah, yeah. After this Tiafimo Lopez fight got announced, I think we got something to talk about. Let's go through all the fighters and the fights that they either just had or about to have are the fighters that y'all use against Gervonta Davis to say he's ducking, won't fight, got better resumes, blase, blase, blase. Tank won't fight this person. Tank won't fight that person. Well, let's get into it then, people. Shakur Stevenson is fighting Arthur. Arthur is a guy that gave up the last three to four rounds to Frank Martin when he fought him in a fight that he was winning. And Shakur Stevenson was going to fight Frank Martin too. And guess what? Shakur Stevenson and my fellow Shakur Stevenson fans, because I'm a Shakur Stevenson fan as well, have no problem with him fighting Arthur. Had no problem with him fighting Frank Martin. None at all. But y'all say Shakur is above Gervonta. Shakur beat Gervonta. Blase, blase, blah. Shakur's resume and all of this other stuff is, is tank. He can make any fight happen that he wants. Well, ain't Shakur and all of them that A-sides to the other guys they're fighting? Why they can't, besides Tank, why they can't get all the other fights that they want? Why aren't you holding them to that standard? Hypocrites. Let's go through, um, who's next? Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz is just Fort Roley Romero and is fighting Jose Venezuela, a guy that Gervonta Davis was offered both of those fighters, and he turned them down. And I got much respect for Jose Venezuela, but we all know that Jose Venezuela ain't the best at 135 or 140. Wouldn't you agree? Pitbull Cruz is not held to that standard. He's not unifying or doing any of those things. Oh, okay, but I've heard people say that Javante Davis ducking Pitbull Cruz. Wow. Okay. Let's go to Devin Haney. Devin Haney just fought Ryan Garcia and Regis Prograde. Last time I checked, neither one of them are the best at 140. Y'all don't even talk about Regis Prograde at 140. He is a non-factor at the 140 division right now. And like I told y'all what would happen after I told y'all Devin Haney would beat him. I told y'all that Regis is trash. I told y'all Regis was never that good. But y'all ain't want to listen to Dean. Now you have no choice but to accept the fact that Regis is not that good. He's not relevant. He's not going to be another champion at that division again or any of that he's out of sight out of mind at this point exactly where i told y'all he would be and was prior to fighting devin haney devin haney's not getting y'all cool with devin haney fighting sandor martin yes let me check let's go let's go to somebody else um sabril matias oh uh, y'all thought i was gonna not criticize sabril matias neither Nah, I ain't not about I, anybody can get this smoke. Do you understand? Sabril Matias is fighting Paro. And Paro is not a bad guy or a bad fighter. He's actually a pretty good fighter. That's actually a great fight, actually. To me, I think that's a very good fight. The problem is Sabril Matias is for Ergashev and Paro. They are not the best at the division. They are not, he's not unifying or any of that. And y'all won't make videos saying he's ducking, he's scared, he's this, he's that, and trash the man resume. When Sabril Matias' resume is not that strong at all. At all, it's not better than a Javante Davis resume, and he's the A side too. 
again, damn near against everybody at 140, probably besides Tiafema Lopez, especially right now. So that's Sabril Matias. He's not held to that standard, but y'all say he's the best at 140. I think he is too, but he's not held to that standard. No. Let's go to uh, Tiafema Lopez who just fought Jermaine Ortiz in a fight that I think he lost. I know he lost. I watched it with my own eyes. When you lose five of the first six rounds, can't nobody on this earth convince me Jermaine Ortiz ain't get another two rounds in the next six. But that's okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Now he's fighting Steve Gladgett. That's not even a, a, a top 10 guy at 140. I had to go look at the rankings. He's not even ranked in a... He's ranked in two sanctioned bodies, and he's number nine in one of them. So he's basically, and he's number 14 in another. He's not even a top guy. This is no fight that nobody asked for. This man has lost seven or eight times already in his career. We do not want to see Tia Female Lopez, especially after he looked um, against Jermaine Ortiz versus no damn Steve Gladgett. But y'all don't hold Tia Female Lopez to that, um, to that standard. And he's a former undisputed champion, in my, in my opinion. I don't care what y'all say. So, uh, Mauricio Suleiman said he was undisputed. I'm going off of what Mauricio Suleiman said because that's the one belt that we were talking about if he's under, because that's the one belt we were discussing when it comes to Tio Fimo Lopez being undisputed. Well, they they promoted they promoted Tio. Uh, they promoted the T.O. and Loma fight and all that is undisputed. That's what I am going to sit up there and, and hold that to. Period. He said it. Don't argue with me. He said it. Okay? So, we don't hold Tia Fimo Lopez to that standard. We ain't telling Tia Fimo Lopez and, and, and Sabril Matias and Pitbull Cruz, they got to fight Tank Davis or else they ducking or they got to fight one of the other guys there or they ducking. Talk to me. Y'all, Devin Haney's going to fight Sandra Martin. Now, I just went through all the guys that won at 140. Nobody is telling Lomachenko or saying Lomachenko has to fight Gervonta Davis next. Lomachenko just fought George Cambosis. And he's going to probably fight Denny's next. And nobody is holding Tiafima, I mean, um, Lomachenko to that standard that he has to fight Tank Davis or else, or Shakur Stevenson or, or else he's ducking and not trying to fight the best and all of the things that y'all say about Javante Davis. Yeah, let's talk about it. All of the fighters that y'all use against Javante Davis None of them are fighting the best. None of them are unifying. And it ain't got nothing to do with Gervonta Davis. It ain't got nothing to do with Gervonta Davis. Because guess what, y'all? I think every fighter I just named besides Pitbull Cruz is signed to a different promotional company anyway. Y'all by default. And by y'all hypocrisy and not willing to hold other fighters accountable, y'all by default um, say that Javante Davis is really that dude, that you really do think more higher of him than you think of your favorite fighter. And that is a fact. And y'all know those fights at 140 that I just talked about, Arthur, who Frank Martin beat, I mean, at 130, Denny's and Cambosis. Guess who somebody that most people think would beat all of them? Frank Martin. Javante Davis out of everybody I named has the best fight, has the fight that has the most competition in it. I let people talk that like to talk because you get to see how full of ish they are. Ain't none of them I just named fighting William Zapata, so you can't even use William Zapata as a scapegoat because none of them are fighting him. I would let you get away with William Zapata because I really like William Zapata. I think William Zapata is that guy. But we ain't talking about William Zapata right now. Everybody that I named that y'all use against Javante Davis, none of them are fighting the best. None of them are unifying. None of them are fighting anybody that is better than Frank Martin right now. Jose Venezuela not. I don't think Paro is. I damn sure know Steve Gladgett not. I know Sandor Martin not. I know Artham not because he beat Artham already. And I damn sure know that Cambos is not. 
Give that man his credit and stop hating. Give that man his credit and stop hating, haters. Y'all perfectly fine with y'all other fighters not, not fighting Godzilla. None of them are fighting the best. None of them are fighting fights you actually want to see from them. Gervonta Davis is the closest to it. Gervonta Davis is just fighting the fight with the most challenge out of all them fights. So y'all can continue with your lies, and I'm going to continue to cook. Y'all can continue with your narratives, and I'm going to continue to dismantle them one by one by one. Didn't I tell y'all you will get tired before I do? I guess y'all thought I was playing. I let people talk. They like to talk because you get to see how full of ish they are. Y'all know what this is, man. Dean, by any means. And I holler at y'all.